If one was to look back through the annals of history, taking note of our technological advances since the invention of fire, they might note automation as one of humanity's primary goals. I mean, what are heaters and stoves if not fires which don't require all the fuss and muss of wood gathering and stoking? If one looks back at the history of automated automobiles though, it appears very stunted and brief. While scientists have technically been working on driverless vehicles since the better part of a century now, the first successful attempts at these technologies didn't emerge until somewhere around the mid-1980s. On top of this, the technologies that will ultimately allow cars to operate themselves didn't really gain much public attention until much more recently. That is, of course, until Tesla blew everyone's freaking minds by suddenly announcing their line of vehicles, which will be going rogue this July. Many car companies have been implementing technologies like cruise control, GPS tracking, and cameras for functions such as rear view monitoring in both business and personal vehicles for decades now. But it wasn't until basically the last decade or so that we began seeing more autonomous functions like lane departure warning and correction systems, or even stuff like blind spot monitors being implemented widely by manufacturers. Beyond these individual capabilities, the need to couple all these features with a list of others, such as collision avoidance systems, and complex maneuverability for things such as emergency stops or parallel parking, seemed to have perpetually confined the advancement to this realm of near but far off future. It seems that while we've all been blissfully waiting in patience for the future to arrive, technicians on behalf of many many entities have been diligently working to bring it to us ahead of schedule. And although there has been an increased rumblings from those such as Audi, who successfully drove their autonomous Delphi model vehicle from California to New York, it seems they were caught sleeping, as Tesla announced they will be rolling out limited automation to all of its Model S and above lines with the simple addition of a software update. This has been so exciting, not simply due to its timing, but also because this will be the first public offering of level three automation, which is the ability for a vehicle to control itself under certain conditions. In this case, only allowing drivers to engage autopilot on highways and interstates, and then returning manual control for in-town driving. Is this technology going to end up being legal where I live? Or am I just investing in something that I'll never be able to use, like in an Ubisoft game? Will this lead to roads being actually safer or simply lull people into a sense of security which slows their reaction in emergency situations leading to a higher rate of really bad accidents? Or maybe the largest question of all due to the legal and monetary implications, who's responsible when the car self-drives into another, the driver or the manufacturer? With these questions and many more still unanswered, it seems that the verdict for how useful autonomous vehicles will end up being is still set off in that slightly intangible future. Rest assured though, they will come. Speaking of good stuff, Little Bits. Little Bits lets everyone use electronics as modular building blocks with modules ranging from simple LED and power setups to complex, programmable, even wireless capable modules. It's perfect for kids, parents, coders, hardware hackers, kids, at heart, makers, artists, designers, engineers, students, you pretty much name it. The modules snap together with magnets. You can create your very own circuits in seconds. With little bits, you can do, I mean, really the sky's the limit. You can get your dog to send a text, not that he's gonna say anything too thought provoking, or you can make a robotic snack server. So the idea is why go out and buy electronics and toys when you can invent them and reinvent them over and over and over again. There's over 60 modules that can be used in virtually limitless, I mean, actually there would be a number for, you know, 60, I mean, you just, you could duplicate some module. Okay, virtually limitless creative combinations. And in this tech driven world, I can see for my kids personally, Getting them into that kind of stuff at a young age is going to be beneficial. So if you're a new customer to Little Bits, head over to littlebits.com slash techwiki to let them know that we sent you and so you can save 20 bucks off your first order plus free shipping anywhere in the US. And after you make something, by the way, tag me on Instagram. Love to check it out. Thanks for watching this episode of Fast As Possible. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment if you have any more suggestions for future Fast As Possible episodes, just like this one. And also leave a comment of what you thought of my hosting. I know this is the first time I've done this. Also, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff.